a victim and survivor of domestic violence, and as a victim of the system, I am wondering uh, what you feel we need to do to uh, deal with the current domestic violence problem in Blaine County. Um, are you frustrated with the number of cases that the prosecutor is putting down to a plea deal? And what are you going to do to reduce the number of repeat offenders when it comes to domestic violence? I'll try, I'll try to cover every part of your question. I'm actually on the, uh, my sixth year of the board with the advocates. You know, I'm on the proactive end, as far as the reactive also in my profession. Um, with that said, I do think there is some cases that could be prosecuted more successfully. I don't believe it's necessarily, uh, it's just the nature of the beast. The prosecutor's office will work just like any other entity in private or government business. Um, with my victim's advocate, that would implement into the sheriff's office. That would also come into play with working with the advocates, the women's shelter in our area. And also, uh, uh, a third part of the question. Repeat offenders. Uh, repeat offenders. Repeat offenders have to go through the judicial system just like anyone else. It would take the state legislation to enact law against that, but we do have stiffer, obviously, with no contact orders and things such as that. Hopefully, the victim's advocate would be there for the victim to work more closely with the prosecutor and the magistrate to make sure that the, that victim is uh, more protected than ever before. Thank you. Gene Ramsey. Now, thank you for that question. Um, I wouldn't do a victim witness advocate because the prosecutor's office has one, uh, and there's no sense trying to duplicate services. Uh, I, I believe that more cases could be prosecuted, but if we look at the circle of violence, sometimes it's really tough to take these cases to court. Uh, we just had one fe felony conviction of domestic violence, so I think things are getting better. Uh, to reduce it, you know, the advocates do a wonderful job working with victims. Uh, they are a good resource, they are an excellent group of people, and we contact them every time there's something going on. Uh, and I still think awareness in the community of domestic violence is important. Thank you. Larry Clark. Now, domestic violence issues, all officers are trained, or all deputies are trained, in how to handle and to figure out who is your primary aggressor in a domestic violence situation. The officers know that they need to take that individual into custody and ensure that they're charged with. The way to get the prosecution and to get the prosecutors to step up to the plate would be for the, the officers and deputies, the investigators at the department to get with the prosecutor, make sure that we've got everything covered that they need covered. Get witness statements or follow-up photos, which happens a lot. The follow-up photos don't get done. Then you also have the victim who does need to be talked to on several different occasions by several different people, just so that they, they're able to feel comfortable with these people and realize what's going to happen in court when they got to talk. As far as repeat offenders, they're out there eventually, as in Mr. England here said, that the state that's up in somebody else's hands versus the sheriff. But training is going to be our biggest issue. 